Hello um, dear viewers, this is George from Ireland here and in this video I'm going to be talking about expatriate life in Baku. Baku is the capital of Azerbaijan as you probably know if you've chosen to view this uh, video. It's uh, got over 2 million people so by far the uh, largest city in the country. Uh, it's quite windy uh, beside the Caspian Sea, so a lot of the wind comes off that it's on the Absheron Peninsula. The city itself is quite green, there are plenty of parks and make a big effort with that, but just outside it, um, it's desert. Uh, if you go much further into the country, then you've got greenery, especially as you get into the, into the hills. So Baku isn't particularly cold, it's fairly hot in summer, but as I say, just wind is the major issue. It doesn't snow very much in the winter. The trouble is that when it does snow, the wind means it's blowing into your face, so watch out for the blizzards. Um, and there are many amenities in the centre of Baku, um, little rides to go on, a little ferris wheel to go around, funicular, um, all along the corniche. Um, that's for a little ferry trips, uh, things like that. And that's where the best shopping centres are, uh, restaurants and all the rest of it. You can get very high-end brands of uh, clothing and that sort of thing if you like. In the city centre, a lot of people um, speak uh, English. Um, Azerbaijan is a Muslim country, but it's a secular state. It's very important to understand that, which means alcohol, pork, they're legally available everywhere. Um, so the Quran has no influence on the laws of the land. However, people are somewhat conservative. And um, yes, women dress in a way that a Westerner would consider ordinary, occasionally even daring. Um, headscarves are unusual. Face veils are unheard of but um, behaviour is a bit different. So the bars and nightclubs where men will heavily outnumber women, um, there are a lot of Russian Azerbaijanis, as in Azerbaijani citizens of Russian origin. The barmaids are usually those of the Russian ethnicity. And uh, for instance, Azerbaijanis, they often get married in their, in their early 20s. And they can uh, have a relationship first, they can go on dates, but it's got to be leading somewhere, like getting married after about six months. Um, anyway, uh, what else can I tell you about Baku? More practical guidance. Um, let me see. Well, it's got um, good public transport. There's quite a lot of traffic. The, the traffic jams aren't horrendous. You know, they're, they're significant around rush hour. The metro is very cheap um, and not even that crowded um, at rush hour. And the buses are dirt cheap and go everywhere. So that's fine. But you'd probably, you'd probably want to buy yourself a car. The drivers are quite crazy. I'm just staggered I didn't see crashes. They seem to consider road signs, speed limits, traffic lights to be simply advisory, not compulsory. Um, one of the difficulties if you're there on a business trip or bringing in um, relatives is hotels seem to be five star or one star with very little in between. So five star you could be paying just as much as you would um, anywhere else in the world. The one stars, well they are fairly cheap but you know dingy and don't expect the hot water to always be there. Um, so overall, Baku is quite an affordable place, except in accommodation. If you're talking about eating out, getting around, buying the necessaries of life, uh, uh, hiring people as a cleaner, things like that, your money will go a long way. As I say, the problem is renting or indeed buying somewhere to live. Um, there are plenty of restaurants, uh, however, there's not, there's not fantastic variety. So mostly serving Azerbaijani cuisine, which is similar to Turkish there are Russian and Georgian ones, very few Chinese restaurants. I could only think of one Indian one, and that was very below par for what it was. I generally like Indian food, but very disappointed with it. Um, let me see. So certain do's and don'ts. Don't criticise the president uh, at all. Um, just stay out, out of politics. Avoid controversy. Another thing is some Azerbaijani territory has been occupied by Armenia since the um, early 90s. And that's an extremely touchy subject. So don't even mention Armenia. If you've ever been there or have Armenian ancestry, do not say that. Uh, there's very bad blood between those two countries. Even at school level, Azerbaijan will not play a sports match against a team from Armenia. Um, so uh, that's that. Uh, let me see. There are beaches in Baku that you can go to uh, in the summer. That's fabulous. And there are plenty of good uh, trips you can go on around the country into the lovely verdure of the mountains. Um, and uh, what else am I going to say? Going camping. I know a lot of people who like doing that sort of thing. 
Um, there are not a lot that's going on in Iran Baku in terms of water sports like sailing or jet skiing, oddly, which is a bit of a pity. There are um, a few um, English-speaking schools in Baku. There's a TISA, the international school in Azerbaijan, which is by far the best, very pricey. There's um, an American school. Uh, there's Baku Oxford School, which they say um, has got decent equipment but terrible staff. Um, let me see. Then there's the British School in Baku, BSB, or they call itself the British School um, in Baku of Innovations. For some point of reason, they renamed themselves that. So my strongest piece of advice is do not use BSB. The British School in Baku is British in fees only. Very few of the staff are British. Um, the teaching staff, they are mostly satisfactory. Some of them are very good. The problem there is the management, which is extremely dishonest and simply uses it as a cash cow, doesn't care about health and safety, locks the, um, locks the fire escapes, is grossly incompetent, and will tell you that uh, a native speaker of English is arriving as a teacher. He or she will never turn up. So um, they're utterly woeful. And if you speak to anyone in intonations or look on the website, well, look at various chat rooms, fora, or people have posted uh, they will say that BSB um, is horrific and really not worth the money. There are some good pupils there. There are a few people who get good results, but that's down to themselves and the teachers and not down to the management, which is uh, totally incompetent and uh, utterly mendacious. So I can't really emphasize that point um, strongly enough. Um, obviously, there are, there are a few universities in um, Azerbaijan, not particularly notable Azerbaijanis who can get out of there. There are many hard-working, honest, delightful Azerbaijanis are highly competent in their jobs. However, they tend not to get to the top. There's a blood system there, which is payback of favours. Bob's your uncle. All right, my cousin gives your friend a job, therefore your brother will give my sister a job, something like that. And so some people rise to high positions simply because they have influential relatives. There's a lot of corruption and kleptocracy. Um, so watch out for that. Obviously, you can't speak out for that. If you work for an Azerbaijani organization, don't expect them to honor the contract. They will honor if it, if it suits them to. Um, and the judiciary is not renowned for its independence. And they're always going to find for an Azerbaijani against a foreigner, especially if it's a well-connected um, Azerbaijani person. So there are certain pitfalls to living there. Don't want it to sound all negative. I had some good times there, and there's some Azerbaijanis I'm very fond of to this day, but be aware of the pros and cons. Um, oil is the main earner of foreign exchange. A lot of Westerners in Baku, they're often British men who are um, oil engineers and so on. Uh, and uh, this is a very lively scene in the Baku pubs. There are probably about 10 streets a foreigner would really want to go to around the 28th um, of May uh, street. Uh, so uh, obviously the language is Azerbaijani, that's the only official language. A lot of people speak Russian. In the city centre, quite a few people will speak English. You go a bit further out to the residential areas and uh, you're really stuck if you can't speak Russian or Azerbaijani. So that's all on Baku.